Hello and welcome back everybody to the final episode of Let's Play The Rugrats Royal Ransom. Holy Pale. Today we find the Holy Pale and become the true king of England. I think that's how that works, right? Well, let's find out. Uh, it's been a while coming, but we'll finally take down Angelica. Your quest is to find the Holy Pale. It's not that hard. Just follow the Holy Pale trail. Each time you reach a part of the trail, the next part will appear. And if you have trouble moving ahead, look for magic spells. They can let you jump really high or get rid of bad guys. Once you reach the end of the trail, you'll find the Holy Pale. Good luck! Oh yeah, guys. The shield. Magic shield. Now you're safe from harm. You got the magic boots. Now you can jump extra high. Right on the money. Yes, guys. The magic spell is almost gone. Bye bye, magic spell. Maybe you should go find another one. You got the magic potion. Now you can cast magic spells to knock down the magical armor or break open boxes. Right on the money. We don't have to worry about anything else anymore other than collecting the last bits of the grail. Also, not fading through the ground like that other time. That was weird. I have to say, pretty awesome level so far. I have to find out where the uh, magic helper ball is, actually. Oh, did it go up here? That's interesting. Oop, there is a potion I'll collect. You know, I'll collect a small battery. Get the potion. Sure, why not? I'll get this funny money. No need to avoid it after all. It'll be a while until I come back here and do some multiplayer stuff. Hopefully with Sophia when we actually do that, but hey. Getting ahead of myself, aren't I? And the main goal of this is just to, well... So it wants us to go down here. There we go. Oop. There's a magic suit of armor. Oh, there it is. We need as many extra lives as we can get when we go up against Angelica, Queen of the Fancy Hats. Now that was impressive. Not gonna lie, that did actually look really cool. So those shoes give you one mount, it looks like. So you have to use it rather carefully, it looks like. Or is it a timer? I really can't tell with them. I think it might be a timer thing. That's why you've got to do it relatively well. I'm going to try to keep this angle to get that battery. I think this way I won't mess it up quite as bad. I say that after failing it so many times, but honestly, if I was watching somebody like Chip fail it this often, I'd probably be rather disappointed. But also, you guys probably know, since it is me, that disappointment should just be your natural state at this point, so it really isn't much of a disappointment for you, is it? Ah, 
now. Quickly, Lilith. Madam Lilith, you must avoid the attack. Or attack back with your own. Okay, that's interesting. It looks like if you hold it down, it becomes homing. I never realized that. Hmm. Things you don't know about your... games that you're left playing until you find out. That's kinda cool. I love it when everything just kind of work out that way. Oh hey, I have a spell, don't I? Yeah! Ow. And this is kinda cool, I think if they released out a full Rugrats game just like this, I would not have been disappointed at all. This is honestly a really fun mechanic that I've never experimented with before. Ow. Oh, car. So many of these stupid knights everywhere. Now, while I'm not necessarily against knights as a general rule, especially stupid ones can get rather annoying. Especially if they're shooting magical spells, that's just even more annoying. Uh, don't tell me that it's back at the castle or something. Right over the frickin' chest again. Grab onto you. Let's go wipe out that guy. Yeah, boom. I don't think I have refilling health though, which. Or well, I don't think I have health refills at all, which can be slightly problematic. You know, I don't think we ever explored this area of the town before. This is kinda cool. Making me explore everywhere in the town. You could use a bandit. Maybe you should look for one. But I don't think there are any band-aids, is my point, Angelica. Of course, it's all the way up there. Okay, I'm gonna grab onto the Shield of Wonder, or whatever it's called. I'm gonna have to go up around this. Hopefully get it like this. Of course, it's up in the house. Ah, here we go. Here's sure we get up there, too. That? No! I'm sure you'll do better next time. Uh Stupid Angelica crates. They really are the worst. Poor babies. <laughs> yeah, let's get up there. At least we got a lot of the small batteries, so now that's done with. Ugh. There we go. 
Let us continue pushing forth, men. We must collect the Holy Pale. However, it is weird that they keep on adding in mechanics. As we finish. What I would consider to be relatively major parts of the game. Okay, where is it? Did this actually go all the way back here? Yeah, I should really stop questioning this game's logic sometimes. Let me get that. Push forward with this. So it seems as though attack is the one that you get the least amount of time with. How about back to jump, but then attack, but you have defense for a rather long time for this game's standards, which is good. I like defense. Means that you're a right pain to deal with. Okay, that is good to know. Shield actually protects you. Not just does what I thought it did and protected you like well, a lot of things in games. Get this spell. I got that masked magician. I just bought that. That shield is a whole heck of a lot more useful than I thought it was. I'm really glad about it, too. It means that this became a hundred times easier. Just from giving me a better shield mechanism. That I did, Susie. Um... Oh yeah, it's this jumpy jumpy. Jumpy jumpy jumperoo! Boing! You know, it kind of reminds me of a part in SpongeBob SquarePants movie game where something similar to that happens where you like jump a whole bunch in a row. I'm actually not sure which of the in-house developers this was made by specifically. If it was Blue Sky or... It's not Heavy Iron, you can tell by the fact it's not Heavy Iron. But I'm actually not sure after that exactly which of the internal groups at THQ made it. Because there are quite a few of them. Most of them are relatively good. I mean, there are some bad ones, but hey, there's bad seeds everywhere. And at least they aren't a company that focuses purely on making the well, weakest part of theirs. There are some companies who can't get their heads out of ideas they had that ultimately didn't end up going anywhere. They're just looking at you, Squaresoft, after the Nintendo breakup. Kind of. Well, actually, just Square in general has never really been able to do anything since. Really, since their inception. It's kind of been one trick pony since. But beforehand, their trick was at least good enough that a generally large audience liked it. 
Now I can't even say that with a straight face. Uh, help! Okay, that was weird. Outside of when the game decides that it's going to glitch out on me. I love it. Of course, it does also like to glitch out on me quite a lot, so... And there's that. A uh, shield and attack? Seriously, they're just being super nice in this last level. Oh no, where did it get- okay good, it's up here. If it is- If this really is a quest for the Holy Grail, there sure is a lot of not getting the Holy Grail. Can I say grab on to- this and this really quick. Going back over this way. Hello? Okay, that was definitely an odd. Oh, there it is. Magic helper ball. Guide me. I don't know why I thought for a little bit that the shoes would actually make you run faster. I'm not sure though. Like, I mean, when I first saw it, I thought, oh, this is cool. It's a speed increase. That's nice. They're finally, like, giving some speed boosts or whatnot. Okay, where is it? Is it above me, maybe? Oh, did it leave the drink? I think it might have left the drink behind and went up on top of the bridge. Yep, I see it. No, I don't. Yes, I do. It's all the way out there for some strange reason. Uh, 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 what happened to... Okay, what? Oh, this is a Billy... <clears throat> I mean, clever use of the game mechanics, trust me, but... I actually really like that, making it so in order to find the magic helper ball, you have to use the jump. Which otherwise gets seldom used. We're good at this now. I hope it's around here somewhere relatively soon. And while it's not necessarily... You know... While I do appreciate a good long last level, I don't know if it lasts in an hour is particularly interesting for you guys to watch. Sorry about that. Um, it is finally spring break for me, which is amazing. I er summer break, I mean. No, yes, it's only spring break. I'm just a slave after all. No, it's summer break, which is great news for me. Oh yeah, it's this area with the magic teleporter or whatever it is. Ow. Okay, that is the most freaking pain in the butt. 
enemy that I've seen in this game in quite a while. Also, let's take care of him while we're at it. Ugh. I hate it whenever the enemies are pains in the butt. That's just so rude, you know? Now, you have to get the holy sand shovel. <laughs> just kidding. The Great. holy pale, guys. I did it at last. Nice work. We have the bad. pale. Not the holy snap. So on the TV that I'm watching it on, it looks amazing. Ah, oh, Sir Tommy. Brave Sir Tommy. Your time has come. But first I'm going to save this up. Are you sure you want Hold yeah. on. I'm saving your game. All done. Your game Finally, is Tommy Stop will take down. on the castle. Use this kitty pole to knock open the gates and reach her. Look for the target pad that matches the shield on the gate. That's where you need to shoot from. Watch out for Angelica's bubble spell and her magical armor guards. They can break your kitty pole. Go get that mean queen! Yeah. You're on the path. Now use the action button to launch a rock at the gate. Watch the power bar. It shows you how far the rock will go. You hit it. This game is tough. Keep launching rocks and it'll Boop. break. Boop. Let's go take this castle. Bye. Force. Yeah. So there's the green pad when I'm ready for that. I see about that. Oh, cool. Hey, Bale, could break. Good thing that magic armor is empty. True, that would have been relatively bad if it wasn't. So I guess I don't need quite that powerful of an attack. Yes, I do. It looks... Well, it has to be a pretty strong attack, I guess. Wow. This is like a full strength attack! Yeah, it's a full strength attack to get over there. Oh, that's such a pain. Attack! Ah. I have to be super specific with this, I think. And they had to be farther up. Yes, I think this might be it. Full power! You broke down the gate, but there's another one blocking your way. 
Go look for the launch pad that matches this new game. Yeah! Hippie by day, Rookie Martin. Boop. Boop. Okay, it has to be fairly powerful. And another relatively powerful! Okay. So do these skates just gain health as it goes on? Now drive through to the next area. Yeah, looking at it, it might be that as well. That it could just get more powerful as time advances. That's definitely one of them. Oh, I thought for sure that was going to pop up over it. Whoa. Dark Queen Angelica. Quite the, uh, formidable adversary, I would say. Okay, so this one is a blue. Also, didn't I see a purple cash wad over here? Yeah, I did. Might not be solely interested in cash, but I am definitely more than a little bit interested in having some extra money to go around. Boop. If only you were able to hit her from over there. After all, the multiplayer games don't earn themselves, you know. Oh yes, I think I know how to get to that one, actually. I do rather enjoy red cash. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, I'll get it on the way back, I guess. This one is most undeniably the correct one. I just have to get a bit of a running start to get to it. Uh. Yeah, you can hear it opening in the back or down there. Oop. Oh. Strike at it. Being a baby is a tough job. Ow. Being a baby is a tough job. Is there a way to strike that beast down?
that cannon is going to be the end of me, I fear. Since Angelica herself and her bubbles aren't particularly much of a threat. I have to say, I love how weighty the cars feel, you know? If they got anything about this game right, it's the way it, this last level feels. It just feels really nice in the hand. That's what Okay, so... Okay, here. This. If only there was a way to stop that cannon from constantly harassing me at work. Nice. Oh. See, I feel like if it sh wouldn't be this difficult to hit it. I think I might have found that sweet spot there. Yes! Good, I'm finally done with this one for hopefully ever. Wow, if I got wrecked that badly just from getting... Good. I know how to deal with a gate like this. Just stand there and shoot. No harms and no fouls. Maybe I should rethink my strategy next time I go in. Well, also, maybe there's some health outside the gate. I might have to check out that before I continue onwards. I don't think I'll make it through another encounter otherwise. Oh, there's some health over here. I'm still going to check outside as well. Pretty much worthless nothing out here, it looks like. Do 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 Okay, that was insane. Mostly because those mad sick tricks ball.
it's about halfway up, maybe? Yeah, about. There we go. Quickly let us move on. Wiping out any knights along the way. Wonder if I can actually strike at those eventually. Given all of this space though, it looks like if I might be able to hit the Queenie. That's no good. Break the doors. This is a blue door. I love that. The game expressly says Oh hey, that's no good. You're not supposed to be able to do that. I know. Crap. Of course there's no health anywhere else around here. Also, I keep on doing this kind of stuff, which, well, I will admit it is kind of hilarious. There's nothing to aid my current predicament. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll do better next time. Storm that castle again, shall we, Tommy? Storm Let's do it, gents. Uh. Luckily, this one ain't very difficult. Luckily, I do know what actually I need to break up until that final room, which is nice. Also, I know that neither of the positions that I'm actually in can be wiped out by her, which is great. Full power! Full power! Foolish power! So it's a three hit kill, which is super minorly annoying just because it means that you have to do a lot of repetitive actions that kind of feel like a pain in the butt. Fire! Fire! 
luckily enough, as long as I leave everything close to the same, I think I'll be good. Okay, then. And while I do appreciate that the game is finally deciding to let Tommy be the dancer that he was always meant to be, can't help but feel that this game is a little bit confused at times. Like, for instance, where I am in relation to the actual targeting system there. That was kind of weird. The game honestly had no idea. At least given how it seemed, it would be the most likely solution. But the game is simply very much so confused by all of this. There we go. Luckily green is over here, which means that Side of that piece of destructible scenery, this is honestly the easiest one around here. Just because of the fact that you don't have to deal with the annoyance that is other stuff. I have a feeling though that on a lower difficulty you can step off of the platform for a few seconds and do something. I'm just not sure. Once again, this is just kind of what I think I remember it being like, but... I totally remember something like that, where... Whether it was here or somewhere else, where what you thought you had to do was actually... totally made significantly easier... by allowing for... stuff like that that doesn't make as much sense. Here we go. Keep out it, gents. We'll win this water in no time. I feel like if I've already seen the end target around here, and I just can't remember where. Is it underneath the bale of hay, maybe? Okay, it's this bale of hay specifically. That's right. Go wipe out that magical man. Luckily enough, I hope it's not to be my primary concern this time around. They do a pretty perfect last round, to be honest. <laughs> Sounds like if her bubble should be coming here any minute. Good. Okay. Here we go. 
gonna explore the upper area and see if I can't find... Okay, this is purple. I have a feeling this one in here was like red or something like that. Don't quote me on it, but I just have a feeling that was what it was. No, it was the yellow one. Actually, this is a really defendable position. Really happy that they gave me the yellow. Okay, purple is up there. Well, I wonder if it's going to ask for the key, and we have to go around over there and get the key really quick. Something they might actually do. I mean... I don't think this game is particularly afraid of asking you to go ahead and do something like that. Right? Yes, it is purple good. Okay. It's the final round, maybe? That flat wall looks pretty slim. See if you can knock it down. Crikey, mate. Ooh, I see him. Let me see what happens. I go over here. Yes! Finally gave me a chance to fight back at all those annoying buggers. Oh, look at that. Oh. This is fine. We can deal with this. We're looking for a red plate. We're plenty capable of that, at least. Especially with half health and... I've already wiped out one of the accosting cannons. Yeah, what a great name for a band. Accosting cannons. This one is the blue. Where would the red be? I feel so bad. I'm like destroying her entire kingdom all because I don't like the main girl on five. I mean, obviously, this is all just magical armor and stuff, so there's no actual people getting hurt. Still, though, Tommy, it does feel a little bit weird. Yeah, but... You know what they say, stiff up a lip and all. Fight them like the Yanks. Like, fight them like the Jerry's? Hmm. Is there a way to get into there, I wonder? Oh, I love that. They're finally giving me ways to fight against those. You know, it's only like the last segment of the last level of the game. Yeah. 
No, it isn't this red. There must be a different red somewhere around the kingdom. So it's either this one over here, which it is good. So this one is the red and blue. Pretty sure I saw red and blue earlier. Hey, what? Cart, what are you doing? I swear, this game sometimes. Right, here we go. Red and blue. Quite certain you need full power! Like, 90% power! Ninety five percent power. Good. Push on three, let's see what other color pops up. It's the red and black that we saw. What about that stuff up there? I still wanna know. I guess it's just, yeah. As soon as I get up onto that ledge, I'm going back down for that one, just... In case, you know, I feel like it might be that one. Do, 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 do. Get off of the wall, Tommy! Why is your catapult so springy? Also, I have to say, these catapults up on the wall... ...really not that good at defend- I mean, they're pretty darn good at defending the kingdom itself, but... ...if they're defending specifically Angelica, they really suck at it. Oh, here we go. Ooh, this is gonna be annoying. I can already feel it. Yeah, I got a key! Hush down, bunny. Nice! I love being able to wipe them out one by one. Watch until there's no more enemies left. I 
watching if they're powerless to do anything. Did it open up this door, maybe? Ooh, it did open up this door. I wonder what's in here. Ooh. Swirly path. Okay. It's the key to her treasury. Well, I would really love to play around in here. I must be back off to fight Angelica for the last time. So this is actually a really cool little room. I didn't know that it was down there. Could you call it perhaps a hidden Easter egg? Maybe. Also, for some reason, This particular one is really hard to climb up, and I don't know why it was so difficult to get up. That is good to know, though, especially for the future. In case if anybody ever wants to play that particular... In case if anybody wants to play the final boss, Kinda cool to know where the hidden one up bay is, you know? Come on. Come on. He's a baby is a tough job. Looks like Angelica slipped on her bubble soap. We did it! Yeah! We won, Bunny! Woohoo! Uh, uh, hey! Woohoo! Get over here. No. Sit. Calm down. Um, not no more, Angelica. Uh, but now that we got my daddy's invention opened up, we can all play in it. But Angelica, maybe you should go back to the ocean and take a bath in first. Yeah, you could use your bubble soap for shampoo. Yeah, mm, lots of it. Ugh, I gotta get me some new things. And with that, everybody, I'd like to just say thank you so much for having watched this. This has been a blast playing through an old game from my past. And I hope maybe, just maybe, you all could, uh, you know, I don't know, look back on it with pleasant thoughts as well. This has been a great time, and also this is the first ever series of Hump Day Henry's to finally say, for the last time ever, ever everybody, this has been Hump Day Henry, signing out.